The modern 304 has a history and a pattern that can be recognized if paid attention to. So usually, the same way that you found her is the same way she will leave you. Hello and welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I can guarantee you by the end of this video, you're going to have probably your question answered or you've probably had a question very similar to the one we're about to read. But we're about to go into a story time submitted by someone in the comment section that I wanted to shed some light on. They also asked for some feedback and asking for advice on if they did the right thing or the wrong thing. So we're gonna get into all of that coming right up. And as always, guys, if you have a story or anything that you wanna share in regards to this topic or anything similar or just about life in general, type that in the comment section below and I'll do my best every week to get to your question. So no further ado, let's dive into this crazy, crazy freaking story. So please listen up carefully. This guy says, I have a story. So I went to this rave and there was a girl there and I caught her scoping me out. So I asked her to dance and we grinded on each other pretty much all night long. Um, let's just pretend that that didn't just happen. He goes on and says, and afterwards, I got her number. So then I followed up with her a couple days later, and she tells me she has a boyfriend. Oh, 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 oh. oh no way. The rave girl has a boyfriend that she's not at the rave with, and she grinds on another guy? I just can't comprehend how that would be. Ah, uh, how? Only good women, only unicorns go to raves where they basically dance around naked on drugs and show off their bodies and just, it's all about sensations and feelings and just being free spirited. Okay, guys. So seriously, I'm just going to read the rest of his story. I'm not going to add any humor inject anymore and he goes on and says so on one hand i almost had to give her props for being honest with me about that but on the other hand i was thinking why in the world would this girl bump and grind with me all night if she had a dude in her life and is this going to be a pattern with her if i ever dated her in the end i decided to stop the pursuit even though i felt like if i pressed it she probably would have either went with me on the side or maybe even have broken up with her guy altogether to be with me but what's your take? Did I do the right thing? Was I correct to think she wouldn't be loyal to me if we went out? Or is there a possibility maybe she only grinded up on me all night at the rave and she really truly liked me and in her mind I stood apart from many men and I actually had nothing to worry about? Here's my take. Streetwalker confirmed. No, but seriously, she belongs to the intergalactic highway of 304 trickery and thotting. You yourself called it, dude. She would have done the exact same thing to you. And I didn't even realize this until I got way older and I took my chances with girls like this, where you realize the same way that you meet her, let's say that she's in a relationship, but she's on dating apps and you meet her on, let's say Tinder, and then you find out later she has a boyfriend, but then she breaks up with her boyfriend to be with you. She will find some other guy probably on the same app while if you guys are in a relationship with while she's with you and leave you in the exact same way that you found her. All right. Girls like this, they have a history and a pattern. It's like a serial killer. The serial killer always leaves his clues behind, usually in the same places. Like there was that one guy that was like into bondage and all this stuff. I hope this video doesn't get demonetized now. This has nothing to do with that YouTube algorithm. Please don't go down that rabbit hole and put me in that category again. But, you know, there's some guys that are like, they have their different methodologies of attack or how they'll, let's just say, eliminate their victims. So sometimes they'll tie them up in a certain way and then they'll do different things to them. And it's always that consistent pattern. They always go through the back window next to the sink in the living room or whatever. You know you know how it is. There's always a consistent pattern with every time they strike usually. Anyways, it's the exact same thing with the modern 304. The modern 304 
has a history and a pattern that can be recognized if paid attention to. So usually, the same way that you found her is the same way she will leave you. And you learn this over time. So I'll give you guys a perfect story to go along with this that happened to me personally. When I was about 17, 18 years old, I got this job at this amusement park. And at this amusement park, I was on actually the older end. I was like 17 or 18 compared to the rest of like the 16 year olds that work there. And it ended up being that there were two other girls that started working there not too long after I got there. And one of them was single and one of them was in a relationship. And I didn't know that this, the second one was in a relationship. So me and the one that was single, we started like hanging out and stuff, right? And doing things. So while we're hanging out and doing different things, this one that I guess was in a relationship and I didn't know at the time, after we break up, I break up with a girl that's single and we're, we just stopped doing a thing. We never date or anything, but we, we stopped seeing each other. The girl that was her best friend at the time ended up hooking up with me because her best friend was with me. And I didn't even realize that she had a boyfriend this whole time. That was, that he, I guess he never came into the job or anything like that. So I was having this relationship with her. She didn't have him on her, her phone, no wallpaper, nothing. It was crazy, right? And I guess he was away for some sort of training in, in, in a different state. It's really bad. And I wouldn't do this if I knew that she actually had a boyfriend. But what ended up happening was I ended up getting with her for like about five to six months. And around the five to six month period, we end up getting different jobs. And she ends up leaving me for another guy at her new job because we're no longer working together. <laughs> so you see how it's just like, it's the circle of patterns with a lot of these women, not all women, but a lot of them do leave traces and clues behind as to how they're going to leave you based on how they entered the relationship with you. There's a lot to learn from that. And I wish I would, alert. I learned that pretty early on, but I'm letting you know, especially especially fool you know this with a rave girl bro a rave girl <laughs> a rave girl belongs to the sh streets son to the streets because with rave girls and i've only been to a couple raves in my life but i was completely sober the whole time so i had a very eye-opening experience being sober at one of those things is the women there Let's just think about the themes in and of itself and the type of women that would be drawn to such a place like a rave or a music festival. Usually, this is not all, but from my experience, the two times that I've gone, <laughs> these are girls that have a lot of tattoos, a lot of piercings, they kind of have some pain, they have a lot of pain body. You know, Eckhart Tolle talks about that in his book, uh, The Power of Now. They have a lot of attachment to uh, trauma still they're there to release and let go and experience a sort of like a, a sexual healing almost with not only the friends they're there with but those of the same sex and other guys that are strangers because they're in the vibe they have the right vibes they're in the right mood it's all about sensation and touch everyone's touching each other you know like he was talking about in the story it's bumping and grinding time baby like we're popping a bean, we're getting out of our minds and we're just exploring, just ugh, like, I wanna touch you, you touch me, like, how does my face feel? Like, do you feel all the pores on my skin? Like, I wanna feel your pores on your skin. So that type of environment where there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of sensuality, there's a lot of exploring, just being in the moment and the feels and not caring about what happens next, all that creates and attracts to it is loose women usually women that are looking to explore with their sexuality and all this stuff hey no judgment here if that's what you want to do psh, go ahead women's lib baby that, if that's how you feel like you want to liberate yourself and express yourself no judgment here but when it comes to you looking for a husband or a man of substance or value he's going to notice those things and see you there or even if he meets you there, he's most likely, unless he's a rave guy himself, not going to take you that seriously. And even you rave guys, there's going to come a time, unless you're into like threesomes and all this stuff, where you're going to want that exclusivity with that girl, that rave girl that you're with. And you're going to eventually not want to go to all these raves, I'm assuming, at a certain point when you're out of your 20s and 30s. 
So just keep that in mind. You attract a rave girl. She might always want to rave. You might grow out of that. She still go, ends up going with her girlfriends. You're left at home reading, taking care of the kids, doing all the house stuff because you're trapped in a marriage. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I think you made the right decision, bro. Let that woman go. Let her free. Um, RIP to that guy that she's with. He doesn't know anything. You know, she's not, he'll never know even about this video. He'll never know what happened. Um, for all he knows, she just went there with a group of girlfriends and they danced all together all night in a little circle and that was it. She never met any guy and that's the craziest thing about the, the era and the modern day that we live in because this can happen to you and it happens every second of every day. This happens to a guy out there and he'll never know. He'll never know a lot of these things that go on behind the scenes and yeah, just, just, just get a DNA check. Just get a DNA check. That should be mandatory these days. And yeah, I love you guys. Have a blessed rest of your day. This is a crazy video. Oh yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below and share your stories as well. Stay blessed, guys. Peace.